Hello, my name is Laura Weller, and this is my introduction into my API that I chose for my project. Um, I chose to use the Bing translation at API available here at Microsoft.com. Um, this is their using the free Bing translating API how like kind of how-to page. Um, it starts off with getting a Bing app ID, which is their version of a API key. And then it goes through a whole bunch of other stuff, like how to add it to a website and using their cloud service and a couple of other things. Um, but let's go over how to get an app ID. So it's really simple. As you can see, I already have mine here. Click on add. And you, uh, side note, you have to have an MSN or Hotmail or Bing account in order to apply for the API key. Um, so basically you just give them your intended application name, quick description, company name. Um, note, I don't have a company obviously, so I put not applicable and they took that, it was fine. Um, your country or region, email address, and if you have one, a website. And then you go and read all their fun, fun terms and conditions. Um, click here if you agree to the terms and then hit save and you pretty much get your um, API key immediately. It took maybe a minute for me to get mine. Um, so let's look at their API uh, documentation. Um, this is actually really, it was really hard to find it. Ironically, I ended up having to do a Google search for it. Um, you would think that the documentation link would be their uh, link to their documentation, but it isn't. It's actually a bunch of news articles. So, as you can see, their API has a lot of different services. Specifically, I'm using the translation ones. It's, it gives you different code examples. Unfortunately, there's no flash examples. Um, but it goes farther down. Gives you all the all the codes are still rev relevant. Or relevant sorry um, so let's take a look at the XML um, the XML that you receive back is really simple um, the only part that I ever that I had difficulty with was they did their namespaces a little funky I don't know if this is kosher or, or not so they declare their namespace here but then they use the namespace to declare here here. And I've never really seen it before. Maybe that's just because I'm inexperienced with XML, but that seemed a little bit funky to me. And because of that, I had some issues um, diving into parse the information. Um, so let's look at that really quick, how to parse their information. Um, it's very simple. They have a, you get this long uh, URL request. Um, I actually cannot find where I found it the first time. I, it's not in the same place that it was before. I don't know if they're updating their information, but I couldn't find it. But basically, you just insert your API key here, and then you have a variable for the what you the words you want to be translated, your source language, and then your target language. And so, as an example, let me run my application. I'm um, currently, it's just hard coded to translate English into French. So, hello, how are you? And then it just returns the one line of XML and is parsed and put into the output box. Um, yeah, I think that's just about it. Um, the only thing, um, I hope this was some help to anyone who wants to use the Bing Translation API in the future. Um, I will put links down below.
for all the documentation and stuff because it is difficult to find. That's, I think, my one complaint being the information is not organized the way I would like it to be. It was, it's very difficult to learn how to use it. But once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. So yeah, I think that's it. Thank you.